But look at Oscar Pistorius. Huh? Huh? Look at him. Yes, no legs. Huh? No legs. But he didn't let that stop him from becoming a killer. Huh? No. No. Before Trevor Noah was set to replace Jon Stewart on The Daily Show in 2015, before he won South African Comics Choice Award for the Comic of the Year in 2012, before making his big move to the United States in 2011, Trevor Noah grew up during apartheid in Suitu, the southwestern township of Johannesburg in South Africa. Although he began his career as an actor, he soon made the switch to stand-up comedy. And as a comedian, he would use his experiences growing up as a mixed-race child during apartheid as the premise for a lot of his comedy. My name is Michael McCredden. Documenting the life of Trevor Noah prior to fame, here for you on Before They're Famous. And let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Trevor Noah was born on the 20th of February 1984 in Johannesburg, South Africa. His parents' relationship was illegal at the time because of apartheid. His mother, Patricia, is a black South African, while his father, Robert, is a white native of Switzerland. As Trevor would later joke, his birth itself, well, it was a crime. Police would show up like, woo, she'd be like, woo, woo, I don't know, I don't know. No, no, it's not mine, it's not mine. Horrible for me. I felt like a bag of weed. It was a tough time. After his birth, his mother, Patricia, she was actually thrown in jail. It was his grandmother that took care of him in that time. When his mother was released, well, they moved to the town of Suito, where he would grow up. His father had moved back to Switzerland. Patricia later remarried, and Trevor's new stepfather, well, he was extremely abusive, and the police, well, they did little to help. She finally worked up the courage to leave him. She then found another man that she planned on marrying, but then this guy came back, and he shot her in the back. She only survived because the gun jammed. This man then later threatened to kill Trevor. As for Trevor's career, his first big break happened in 2002 when he was only 18 years old. He starred in two episodes of the South African soap opera, Is a Dingo. He went on to host his own radio show, Noah's Ark on YFM, and an educational program known as Run the Adventure, which broadcast on public television. He soon quit his radio show to focus on his stand-up comedy. He performed in numerous South African comedy festivals and became the opening act for several international comics on their South African tours including Gabrielle Iglesias and Russell Peters. At the same time he managed to make himself a familiar face on South African television, he started hosting a gossip television show known as Gabazo on SABC1. He also hosted a sports show on the same channel. On top of that he co-hosted the South African reality show The Amazing Date and was a contestant on the fourth season of Strictly Come Dancing. In 2009 he had his first major stand-up special titled The Day Walker and hosted the third annual South African Film and Television awards. The next year was a big one for him. He hosted the South African Music Awards. He then got his own late night television show, Tonight with Trevor Noah, and he became the spokesman for Cell C, a mobile provider. He began touring around America in 2010. In 2011, he decided to make the move there. He became the first South African stand-up comedian to appear both on Letterman and The Tonight Show. In 2014, Trevor Noah became a recurring contributor on The Daily Show. His first appearance was in a segment called Spot the Africa. But since apartheid ended, they now also being killed by black police. Progress. In February of 2005, Jon Stewart, he announced that he was going to be departing from The Daily Show. But there was all sorts of speculation who was going to take his spot. A lot of people thought John Oliver would get the gig, but he already had Last Week Tonight. Also, Larry Wilmore had just started The Nightly Show, and Samantha Bee would soon be leaving to begin working on her upcoming TBS show, Full Frontal with Samantha Bee. Now, although Trevor Noah had only appeared on the show three times, Comedy Central figured he had what it took to take over the big shoes and he became the host of The Daily Show in September of 2015. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is Before They Were Famous. My name is Mike McCrad. Thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here, so be sure to subscribe. Also, share this channel. Browse around. There's something for everyone. I've been doing a few politicians. I've also done a lot of rappers, a lot of comedians, a lot of everything. So, uh, there's something for everyone. Hope you enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Boom! Oh, and let me know like who you want me to do next down below. Okay, cool. Bye.